Hey, David Breslow back here with you in today's mental golf coaching tip. I want to talk to you about one of the biggest paradoxes in golf, actually on the planet itself, and it is less is more. Less is more. What does that mean? Now, a lot of people understand that intellectually, but then in practical terms, they go out on the golf course and do just the opposite. They try to do more to get more. Less is more is a huge paradox to understand on the golf course. Think about it. When you go out on the golf course and you try hard, what usually happens? Well, the answer I generally get from that question is, eh, things don't go so well. Uh, I don't hit the ball as well as I know I can. I'm kind of inconsistent. I lose a little power. I lose a little consistency. And it's very confusing because we think, mistakenly, that we should try to get those outcomes. But the reality is, your best golf is produced when you're thinking less is more. Now many of you also know that I'm an actor and one of the things I do to help me perform better uh, in front of the camera or on stage depending on where I am I actually use that as my mantra less is more because in that world the same thing exists the same barriers when I go out and I try to be a character or I try to do a role or I try to repeat what I rehearsed it comes out horribly <laughs> and my teachers let me know about it and so do the uh, students in my class as well. But the reality is, when I remind myself that less is more, what happens is I completely relax. My mind settles down, my body settles down, my emotions get to where they need to be, they're comfortable, and everything is smoother. I am now just in the moment playing the character that I'm playing, saying the lines that I have memorized, and things come out unbelievably better. You think it's any different on the golf course? Of course not. Less is more. So think about it as almost two separate things. Do the more first. What does that mean? Think, 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 prepare. Do all your thinking. Do all your decision making. Do all that stuff first. Then when you step into a dress position, guess what? That's when the other switch comes in. All that stuff is done. Now the less part happens. There's nothing else to do, is there? You've done all the prep. You've done all the work. You've done your rehearsal. No different than an actor. You walk out onto the stage and less is more. Why? Because there's nothing else to do. What else do you have to try? You're already prepared. You've taken your lessons. You've gone to the driving range. You've worked on your swing. You've grooved what you've grooved. you got those few things you're working on today. Fine. You're over the ball. None of that stuff matters anymore, does it? Less is more. Biggest paradox on the planet. The most, almost the most challenging thing for many people to understand. They get it intellectually, but that's not good enough. I'm not interested in you getting it intellectually. That doesn't mean a darn thing. So what? Lots of us can understand what that means. Now I, I want you to live it on the golf course. Go put it to life. That's all that matters. Less is more. That actually means that you don't have to work so hard. You don't have to try so hard to get what you want. I'll never forget the first time I had that experience early in my golf playing days. I went out, I got really excited because I got a new set of clubs. I was so excited I ran out to my local golf course and I was by myself. And it was late in the afternoon, 3.30, 4 o'clock, nobody out there. Nice day, but nobody was out there. And I teed off. I was so excited. I teed off. My first shot was horrible. It, I sprayed it, I don't know, left somewhere because I was so excited. I just duck hooked it and pulled it. And uh, then on the second hole, I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. Slow down, less is more. I got so comfortable. My mind, body, and emotions were in sync, which is where, where you want to be. I stood up to the, uh, to the first tee, or the second tee, stood up to hit my driver, and I don't even remember what happened. I hit it so smoothly, and I couldn't believe how far I hit it. I hit the ball further than any other drive I'd hit in my life up till that point. And as I was walking to the ball, I just couldn't believe it was further and further out there. I kept stopping and looking in the fairway or off to the side. I thought maybe I, I pushed it a little bit. And uh, I didn't. I'm, I'm walking. And somebody said to me, no, no, your ball's down there from another fairway. Your ball's down there. I saw it land. And I'm like, really? I just couldn't believe it. And when I got to the ball, I turned back to the tee. And I saw the distance, which for me was quite a lot. And I remember immediately thinking, wow, less really is more. I don't remember doing anything up at the tee because I reminded myself that less is more and the rest of it is trust. 
I just trusted my body to do what I trained it to do. I don't even remember thinking anything else. What a great point to get to. And I never forgot that. And I go back to that time and time again. And so can you. But it starts with really understanding less is more. Get it, get it, get it. So that's your kind of little assignment for this week. Go out to the golf course or the driving range. Practice less is more. Make it your mantra. Do all your preparation. Do everything you usually do. But get to that moment, and it's a moment, where you say, less is more, and leave it alone. Watch what happens. You might be so excitedly shocked like I was, and I hope you are, because it is a wonderful experience to have. And repeat, time and time again. Less is more will always take you back there if you allow it. So allow it. Would you do me that favor? Allow it this week. Dave Breslow, glad to be back with you. Visit me over at mentalgolfcoaching.com, please. Check that out. <clears throat> and of course, leave me a message here. Would love to get into a cyber chat with you. Dave Breslow, good to be with you again. Look forward to talking with you soon. Take care.